Good morning everyone and welcome to my day in the life of Blair Waldorf video. So basically today's video, all I'm basically going to do is try and emulate Blair Waldorf's lifestyle. So I will say if you're not such a Gossip Girl fan or a Blair Waldorf fan, you could still follow along this video and take it as a sort of self-care slash living in the life of luxury day as there's definitely little luxurious touches that I'm adding throughout this day that I definitely wouldn't normally do and yeah, I can maybe see how I feel at the end and hopefully um, I've treated myself a wee bit. So if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Leslie, this is The Bubble Diaries. For today's video, I would say this is more of a, a vlog style kind of YouTube, so there's going to be a little bit of cooking, there's going to be a little bit of alcohol, <laughs> there's going to be a little bit of fashion, but it's basically all things Blair and things we kind of know that she likes and discusses throughout Gossip Girl. So I also just want to quickly say in advance, I've had a bit of a fake tan disaster on my hands. I don't, oh my God, no, I can't even show you. <laughs> so already I've got points off for being Blair. So you probably are going to see them throughout this video and be like, ew, but yeah, I used a new fake tan and I didn't realize how dark it was going to be. And that is actually scrubbed a wee bit. I feel like it looked so much worse when I held up to the camera there. But anyway, apologies about that. I've painted my nails quite a dark colour, which is not something I would normally go for, but in Gossip Girl, Blair does tend to have quite dark nails, like either like navy or even black. So I've gone for like, it's like a very dark kind of burgundy. So I also just thought I would talk through just now some of the ways that I've actually started my morning as Blair Waldorf, which actually started from last night. So before I went to bed last night, I actually put on my Lily Silk pillowcases, which I haven't even used yet. They were a Christmas gift, but I don't know about anyone else. Sometimes I really like to savour things and wait until I'm absolutely ready to use them. So I've put on my Lily Silk silk pillowcase and I have to say sleeping on it was absolutely incredible. It was, it was beyond what I even thought it was going to be like. So this is a definite luxury touch you could bring to your life if you're wishing to. And yes, they are expensive, but they're not completely extortionate so I will put a link in the description box. The next touch that I added was sleeping with a satin eye mask on. So we do see Blair wearing an eye mask quite a lot throughout Gossip Girl. This is not something I would normally do but I will say the combination with the silk pillowcase and this satin eye mask it just felt incredible and I do definitely think I slept better. Having this kind of just close out the world and bring you that complete darkness so I would definitely recommend adding this to your, your routine if you're looking for that bit of luxury. I also slept in a satin nightgown along with the, the robe that I'm wearing as well because it's just too cold here just to sleep in like a nighty. But that definitely brought that little bit of Blair element. I really did feel very luxurious, very grand sleeping with all the satin and silk around me. So what I've also done so far this morning, um, I'm sure you can tell that I've pretty much just got up and I just jumped in the shower and I used my Chanel moisturizer, which I don't really normally use, definitely not on a day-to-day -day basis. So that was a little touch of refinement I brought to my morning moisturizing. And what I've done just now is I've made myself a little cup of tea, but I'm using a cup and saucer, which I do love to use, but I definitely don't use it every day because it's, it's, it's just much easier to drink from a mug, but come on, Blair would not drink from a mug. <laughs> so I've also lit a little candle just here because I'm sure if you're a Blair fan, you'll know that her favorite flower are peonies, but they're not actually in season right now. So I couldn't, I did look, but I couldn't get any. So I actually have bought this plant as well, which is a sort of um, a nod to Blair, although it's not either of the flowers she talks about. So she talks about hydrangeas and she talks about peonies. This is, now I think it's chrysanthemum. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, okay. Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. I think I pretty much got it. Chrysanthemum. So that is this flower here, which you'll probably see featured throughout today's video as I just thought it's definitely along the lines of something Blair would have. So for the next part of this video, I'm basically just going to go and get ready. I'm going to do my makeup, do my hair, pick an outfit and then start the morning as Blair Waldorf.
So that is me kind of done my makeup. I'm just gonna pop on my fake eyelashes. I've not done them, they're just the droop. <laughs> The glue is drying. If my lips look a bit weird, it's because I put on this like um, SPF lip balm because my lips get quite dry. I'm not even sure if it's the best one to use, but it's like one. Oops, it's one that I used to use when I was skiing. But anyway, that's why. So once that's kind of gone away a wee bit, I'll maybe just do like a bit of lip liner and lipstick. I'm not gonna put lip gloss on because I'm gonna have breakfast. Um, but I'll put lip gloss on before we go out anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'll move on to my hair next. I've just pulled it back because it was annoying me. Um, I'm going to just blow dry it. I will maybe put in a wee roller or two and then I'm going to clip in my extensions and I'll try and do like a slight curl because that's Blair tends to have a curl going through her hair. So that'll be the hair and makeup part of this done and we're going to pick an outfit for the day and yeah then we can have breakfast. What I'm also just going to quickly do which you might think is a bit weird but I kind of like doing this is I take like a little bit of eyeshadow and put it just under along my lower lashes because I feel like it gives them like a tiny bit of I don't know, sort of atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if other people do that too, but I quite like it. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes and that is the makeup done. Oh, apart from the lips. Okay, that is us all made up. So I'm gonna pick the outfit first, I think, and then do hair, so. Yeah, I need to decide what to wear. So this is what I'm thinking of wearing, which is one of the outfits from my Dressing Like Blair Waldorf video, because I thought it's a little nod to spring with the, the floral blouse, um, but I'm probably gonna have to put some form of tights on with it because it's just not that warm here today yet, I'm afraid. But yeah, I'll pop this on, do my hair, and then it's time for breakfast. So I've got the breakfast all set up, so this is what I have chosen to have. I've got some yogurt with granola there in that wee bowl with some fresh fruit. I've got an orange juice, which I definitely don't normally have, but I think Third Gossip Girl, you see them sometimes having orange juice. I've got a little pan of chocolate because I thought you don't really necessarily see Blair eating croissants, but they're definitely like in their breakfast scenes. I've got my tea again and I've brought the little teapot over it as well. So. That is breakfast all set up, so I shall just sit myself down. Apologies if you can see a difference in the quality. I have just decided to use my phone quickly because my camera battery is actually dead, so I need to recharge it. I'm just having my breakfast, but so far this day is not being as relaxing as I thought. I think actually trying to, to create Blair's lifestyle when you don't have, for example, like a chef just preparing your breakfast or I don't know, presumably like she has help from Dorota with her hair and her makeup and her clothes, but I feel tired already <laughs> just from putting on like full makeup, doing my hair and outfit for like just the morning. So yeah, it's not been as relaxing as I thought, although I do feel quite blare now that I'm in her outfit and I'm sitting here having such a, a plush breakfast. Like I would never normally have this. My breakfast staple is tea and two slices of toast because I'm not gonna lie, I just love it. But this definitely is a nice little treat to have. So I'm just about to head out for a walk with Teddy and we're hopefully going to go to the Little Duck Pond, see some ducks, but just before I go, I wanted to mention the perfume that I popped on. So I mentioned it at the start of the video, it is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume, which I don't think Blair specifically references it, but there's definitely points that Chanel is mentioned. So pop a wee spritz of this on and out we shall go into the world <laughs> as Blair Waldorf. So this is me ready to go out, you can see Teddy in the background. I've just whipped out this Louis Vuitton bag, which is actually, I think is my oldest bag. Oldest or maybe second oldest. Um, so I kind of thought this is something maybe Blair would carry. It's got a kind of vintage look to it. So I'm gonna unfortunately have to put a coat on and probably my winter's coat because it's just not warm enough here to go out like this. So I shall take you out and we shall go and hopefully see some ducks. So here we are, we have arrived at the park. Oh, a few wee ducks over there, some nice swans. It's not quite as grand as Central Park, but as Glasgow parks go, it's actually quite nice. So here we are, Glasgow's answer to Blair Waldorf's Central Park pond. It's actually looking quite nice. It's, it's really busy, I think everyone is walking in lockdown. So 
So I just decided to find a wee quiet bench for a second. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a wee bit silly because I'm so dressed up for just like a dog walk, but it's been lovely. There's someone sort of busking, playing music around the pond, all the swans and the ducks are out, so it's actually been really fun. But I have to say, it's freezing. It's only four degrees here in Glasgow today, so I am gonna head back and continue on the day at home, I think. So I'm back in from the walk and, oh my goodness, it was freezing. <laughs> I just don't feel like this is an accurate representation of Blair's life, but, or maybe it is, but she's just always so well dressed with matching hats and gloves, etc. And yeah, and she probably wouldn't walk with a dog and a bag at the same time. Oh, and Teddy's just a nightmare on the lead. He pulls you all over the place. You can't, you have to kind of hold his lead constantly. You can't even put your hands in your pocket. Anyway, so I'm back. I'm going to have a wee bite to eat for lunch. So I'm going to show you what I've bought, which is a kind of, Thing I think Blair talks about a lot in the show. So I have just picked up a little bit of sushi for lunch. It's just from M&S, but I thought Blair talks about sushi throughout the series and <laughs> the main thing that was reminding me of it was when I think she's just moved to NYU and then she tries to throw that sushi party and it all goes wrong. But I just thought I'll have some sushi. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. Um, and then I have a little thing for the afternoon, which I'm really excited about. So this is the part of this video that I've probably been most looking forward to. I've just made myself another pot of tea, but as you can see in front of me, I have got the most adorable box of macaron from La Durée, which I ordered online. And I have to say, I'm really impressed. They arrived with like a little, I guess a kind of ice pack around it just to keep them fresh. Cause you maybe know macaron have to be kept in the fridge. Um, so I'll just open, this is the flavors that I went for. I mean, oh my goodness, do they not just look amazing in there. So that's the ones that I went for and I've got, where's the wee booklet? Oh, I think I left it over there. I shall grab it in a wee minute, but this is the afternoon set up for a little tea break. And I've also just grabbed um, the most recent Vogue because I thought, you know what, Blair would probably sit and have her tea, have a little macaron and read something that's, you know, to do with fashion since she wanted to go into the world of fashion. So that is what I am going to do. just had the strawberry candy macaron and it is, it's unbelievable. I know some people don't actually like them that much, but honestly, these ones are gorgeous. Really worth a try if you can order them because I think they did like UK delivery to, to anywhere. So, oh my goodness, this, that is honestly stunning. <laughs> so for this next part of the video, I'm basically gonna be preparing dinner for Jack and I. So obviously Blair probably wouldn't do this, but I thought it'd be quite nice to try and make a dinner for us that's you know, like a bit fancier for a Friday night. So basically what I'm gonna do is like a roast chicken with some Hasselback potatoes, which I actually only heard of because my sister made them. And they're basically like, you take a potato like this and you basically, what I'm gonna do is like do fine slices all the way along it. And it may, basically means that the potato kind of crisps up along this side, but it stays really fluffy on the inside. So I'm gonna do a wee bit of cooking now. So. Feel free to continue on watching if you want to join me for this part. I will say that I don't want anyone to see something that might make them upset. So I am going to be cooking a chicken if you're vegan or vegetarian. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I just wanted to give a little kind of notice of what I'm doing. So I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. So I basically chopped some fresh thyme. I've crushed some garlic already, so I've popped it in this wee bowl with just some softened butter. Then I've got some lemons chopped, and that's potatoes, which you've seen before. So basically what I'm gonna do is just like rub this through the chicken, which is over there. The reason that I decided to go for like a roast chicken dinner is because I kind of thought like Thanksgiving's such a big thing in Gossip Girl, and like they make a thing out of every episode, and obviously you would maybe have turkey then. So I just thought roast chicken, and there is actually another episode. So yeah, there's basically an episode, I think it's, I can't remember, but I'll put it in the description box where she mentioned where she mentions this French chicken dish. And when I looked it up, it's like not dissimilar to just like a roast chicken. So that's why I decided to do this. And it's like, we probably wouldn't normally have this for a Friday night dinner, maybe like a Sunday dinner. But yeah, so I'm basically just gonna put this all together. And yeah, once it's out the oven, I will show you. I'm not gonna keep this cooking bit for too long as obviously this isn't a cooking channel. Um, so yeah, I shall catch up with you. So just to show you, this is the chicken all ready to go in. It's basically on a bed of carrots, red onion, white onion and bay leaves. I've also scattered more thyme underneath. So I'm a bit of a bedraggled and 
frazzled Blair, but <laughs> we're continuing on and I'm now going to attempt to make a gin martini, which is a drink that we see Blair drink a lot throughout the series. So basically, I've got the ingredients and it's not much that goes into it and it's I'm a bit nervous because I think it's going to be very alcoholic. So basically, first of all, I'm going to add gin and this is actually a Japanese gin. So, so I think this is for one, so I'm going to make it to make two. I've basically just got this shaker, which is obviously not the best, two 50 mils, so 50 mil per. So that would be, so we need 100 mil basically. 60 is four, wait a minute. <laughs> so 15 mil. Jack, how many times does 15 go into 100? Okay, so I've put six 15 mils roughly into here and then we're gonna add the vermouth, 15 mils. We need, double that, we need 30 mil. So it's basically two of these. So this is the vermouth I'm using, it's just martini, right? That's the second of that in. So literally just that with ice is in here. Oh, I'm a bit nervous about this, right? So I've also, I've got two little lemon zests here that I've just done the whole twizzling thing. I think this is gonna be hella strong. Okay, doesn't smell too bad. Right, here is the martini made. I'm really nervous. My mouth's gone that way where it's like, <laughs> like it feels funny because I'm just, I can almost taste this alcohol. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Blair, Miss Waldorf. Okay, do you know what? It's actually not as bad as I thought. At first I was like, this is fine. Then I was like, oh my God, it's bloody strong. I think absolute, I don't even think I should finish this to be honest, but so I've made one for Jack as well. So I'm gonna go and take it through to him. But cheers, my first ever gin martini. Oh. <laughs> okay, I definitely don't think I can finish it. Because I have some champagne I want to have, which is also another drink that Blair has. What I'm also just gonna say is I'm gonna quickly freshen up, I'm gonna change into my evening Blair look because I have been cooking and preparing the dinner, so like Blair wouldn't obviously do that. So yeah, I do feel a bit frazzled as I said. I'm actually gonna show you what I've got prepared over there and then I'll go get changed. So just to show you, I've got, that's the chicken there. Oops, I'm just gonna break that. Three bits of additional carrots and then this is the Hasselback potatoes. So, oh my God, I'm sorry. They have been like sliced. They basically bake like two or three times. So that's already, <laughs> just ignore that pot. That's all ready to go in the oven once we've had our gins. So this is my Blair evening look, which was featured in, I think this was the second, yeah, the second part of the Dressing Like Blair Waldorf video. So I've gone for the Gucci tights, little black court shoe and this Ted Baker dress. And I am having the martini, which, do you know what? It's actually, it is drinkable. It's just a wee bit stronger. I think Jack worked out it's maybe like 15%, which is quite high just to just drink straight. I would also say that you could have it with um, olive. I went for lemon because I thought, do you know what, that might bring a wee bit of citrusy sweetness. Whereas I think probably it's even more like classy to have it with olive, but I'm, I'm not quite there yet. So yeah, this is the evening look, um, but I'm actually going to move on to wee champagne. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to finish this martini because it is so strong, but I'm actually going to have a wee glass of champagne next because Blair does love her bubbles as well. Right, Jack's just interrupted me. He said that this is not 15%. He was talking about the vermouth being 15%. This is probably more like 30%, we think. Anyway, it's hella strong. So I don't know how Blair was bloody drinking these all the time. But anyway, um, yeah, a strong, strong drink if you did fancy one. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited for this part of the video as well as I am tasting a champagne that I think I have tried maybe once before but it was in a bar and it's not one that I've sit and kind of 
savoured. So it is a champagne that Blair mentions throughout Gossip Girl. So if you're interested, she mentions Dom Perignon, but I just thought, you know, a hundred plus a bottle, I can't really go for that. <laughs> she also mentions Laurent Perrier, I think, in the first series. And she also mentions this one here, which is Louis Roderer. And I'm actually so excited, as I've just seen today, that they have been voted number one in the 2021 list of top champagne houses. So if you're into your champagne, you're into your bubbles, this is one to put on a wish list, one to try. Um, I did treat myself to this bottle. I managed to get it at not a bad price from Amazon, which I know, you know, it's tough. We buy so much from Amazon, you don't want to buy alcohol from there too, but they did have it for a reasonable price. So I'll link it if anyone is interested in trying this champagne, as this is the one Blair does mention in the series. So I'm going to pour myself a wee glass and yeah. I will say, obviously, you can get so many different sparkling wines if you, you want to feel like Blair. There's so many other options. You don't obviously have to go for champagne. I personally do love champagne. Oh, that just looks so stunning. But last night, for example, I had a little Prosecco from m and which was just as lovely. Oh my goodness. That is divine. I can see why you like it, Blair. It's got really strong sort of biscuity notes. Like, I'm, I'm in no way a champagne expert or even very good at doing these sort of tasting things, but I do know if a champagne has like the bready, biscuity, brioche notes, it's usually one that I really like. Oh, that is gorgeous. Cheers. So I'm just doing a little check-in. This is the potatoes about 40 minutes in the oven. So you can see like the, all the cuts now looks quite nice. So I'm basically going to baste them with some more butter, which is just in this pan, um, which is a wee bit high to be fair. And then they're going to go back into like another half an hour. So just to show you, this is everything in the oven and I'm going to pull out the chicken. I'm a wee bit worried it's going to be too dark, but I'll leave it for just now and see if we get on. That's the potatoes, carrots up the top. Put that all back in. Your gal's having a glass of champs because I'm knackered. I mean, look at the mess I've made as well. Right, that's not really Blair, but <laughs> let's see how we get on. So here's everything out of the oven. I'm just going to make a wee gravy now, and that is us good to go. I think the chicken looks quite good, and the potatoes. There we go, we close in shots if you're interested. Finally, that is us ready, and Jack's getting on with me for taking too many videos. Here we go. That's everything. So this is really the end of today's video. I'm finishing off this little glass of champagne and we are going to watch Breakfast at Tiffany's, which I'm ashamed to admit this, but I have never actually seen it. So we are going to go and watch that and that will be the end of my day in the life of Blair Waldorf. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> like, I feel like Blair just, she needs to put on a tracksuit every now and again because all day I've been wearing uncomfortable clothes. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to literally putting on pajamas now because yeah, it's been an awful lot of tight clothes and very accessorized outfits. So this is the end. I really hope so my camera cut out again. I'm really sorry about that, but I just wanted to say a final goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next Wednesday. Lots of love. Bye.